We'll be winning this one tonight. I can feel it. Game six of the NBA Finals. The Chicago Bulls have had a long, long journey and are on the cusp of achieving their dreams. With everything on the line, they could be crowned champions with one more victory. Only one obstacle remains as they go up against the Thunder. This is the NBA Playoffs, and it's up next. The championship could be claimed right here. Folks, it is electric in the arena for this Game 6 of the NBA Finals. So glad you could join us for it. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Zach Levine is out there with Garland. Then there's Jay. Then there's Scotty Vaughn. And it's Durant in at the four-man position. For the Thunder, we've got Lou Dort. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Meeks in at the center position. You look at Chicago. Greg, they're feeling good, playing like a champion, and don't want to let this get down to a game seven. Yeah, I like that mentality. Sure, right, your fans will be there when you win the title, but what's more important is getting the job done. You can have a parade later if you close the deal. And so it's the Bulls getting on the board first. And the jump by Gilgis Alexander. This guy is such an explosive athlete. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes straight to the cup. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Meeks, and he bangs it home with one hand. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Outside, Katie to the inside. Flying. And it's Meeks with the rebound. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Bulls have gone two or three here to start out the game. Took him no time at all on that one. No, oh, that's too easy for KD. You just can't let him get a look from the corner. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and there's another one for the Thunder. Poor design there defensively. They know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Talk about hitting the ground running four for five to start. Bulls shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. That's good from Jane. And so just over a minute and a half played. Gilgis Alexander against Garland. Down low, here's Durai, uses the glass to finish the way. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. Bulls have gone 4-5 from the field so far. To the middle, here's Klein, and there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here, following the goaltending call. Yeah, that's a tough call for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Garland against Gilgis Alexander. Scoring his third straight basket in three tries. This guy is so elusive with the ball in his hands. SGA just understands how to get off the triple drive. And the basket by Jay. Jay's got it, got 11. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Passes it to Meeks. Oklahoma City moving it around. Giddy kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Shoves over Garland. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Bulls leading by four. 
It's Durant on the wing. Inside. There's Klein. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. And that's 13 points for Jake. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Beeks finds Giddy. Trying to find Gilgis Alexander. Gets it to him. Rebound by the Bulls. Their offense came out big in Saturday's game. Yeah, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster, acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. Here's Gilgis Alexander after the main shot from Jay. Meeks, good. We are talking about a 6'6 <laughs> point guard. Shea has got a great view of the floor. What an easy pass. And the first time out of the game called. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And the basket by Jay. He's got 17. When you have vision at the forward spot, it always opens up and elevates a team. Scotty Barnes passing on display. So the Bulls five right now. The guard set is white alongside Levine. Jay out there with Scotty Barnes. And it's Terry in at the three spot. The Bulls leading by 21. To the paint. Here's Klein. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Launches it. No good. This miss, number four in ten shots. Here's Klein. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Barnes has got four assists now tonight. The Thunder have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shafts to find the mark. Four of nine, all told. Caldwell Poe passed to Wallace. To the left side wing. Man. Here's Truman. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Well, you look at Jay leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And, of course, Shea Gilgis Alexander. And whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Meeks has checked in, and it's Dort in for Caldwell Pope. The Bulls also changing it up. Trey Murphy comes in for Terry, and it's Garland in for White. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, Jay in that last matchup against Oklahoma City was all business. He scored 45 points and, as usual, controlled the glass. Totals like that put him in rarefied company. A game for the ages. Back to you, Kevin. Yeah, David and stretches. He was absolutely down. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? in for Chicago. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Wallace looking for an opening. Wallace a screen. Pocket six. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Now here's Wallace. After the miss from Jay. 
Back to Wallace. They need this. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Jay's got it, got his sixth rebound on the night. And he banks in the lane. He's got 10. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Wallace against Garland. Wallace kicks to Meeks. Back to Wallace. Three-pointer. Not going to fall. Starting off slow, he misses his first three from the floor. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Wow, showing the ability to create for himself and others. Darius Garland, good court awareness. And it's the Thunder with the ball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Right wing. Giddy with it. Over Durant. And he was able to put it up in time, but it doesn't fall. And so it's Chicago. Up by 33 points as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for him. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Thanks for tuning in to our Game 6 coverage. A big lead through the first half for the Chicago Bulls. Well, they certainly were disguising their game plan. Force the ball down low, get some high percentage looks, maybe draw some fouls. They were very physical. This game plan is diesel tested and approved. Checking out the circumstances for the Chicago Bulls. They have all the momentum right now with the lead in the series and the lead in this game here at the half. Playing like a runaway truck like the diesel. Um, um, um. They got all the momentum. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. It's been one outstanding game from Jay. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. We've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's out there with Josh Kitty. And it's Dortz in at the three. And that's who Mark Dagnold starts the second half. Here's Garland after the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Well, just quick with the decision-making, smart pass by Darius Garland. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. Pass to Dort. Now, Gilgis Alexander. The pass to Meeks, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander facilitating for his team right now. What a pretty pass. Garland kicks to Levine. Here's Klein, and that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got his fourth assist in this one. The Thunder shooting 43% from the field. Now, Giddy. Garay, guarded by Garland. Outside, Dort gets it to go from beyond the arc. Dort's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Oh, Chicago has gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. And a strong finish with two hands. Oh, my goodness. How about the impressive vertical by Lou Dort? No doubt on that slam. Here's Klein right through the D for the layup. Jay's got it got six here in this quarter. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. 
Levine against Giddy. They set the screen. Got a piece of it. Barnes against Dort. Barnes passes to Jay. Misses from short range. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He sinks the 11-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. And the basket by Jay. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Garland against Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Boy, this guy is an absolute force of nature on the offensive end. SGA, I don't know what the defense is going to do with you. Meeks with the steal, and the Thunder pushing it up now. Here's Garay, and down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. You want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Here's Jay, and it's Meeks with the rebound. Dort against Barnes. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. The fadeaway. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Jay's got to got seven rebounds in the game. The feed now to KD. And no good. For Oklahoma City, they've gone seven and nine from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. Giddy kicks to Meeks. Durant against Giddy. Pass to Dort. And Levine comes to help. Meeks outside. Chicago grabs the miss. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Well, just staying alert. Great setup that time by Levine. Oklahoma City has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Giddy against Levine. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Garland. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist from Giddy. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points here in this quarter. To the middle, it's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. He's the leading scorer tonight, being aggressive, and so far, no one's found a way to slow him down. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Here's Giddy. Feeds it to Meeks over Barnes. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. It seems like nothing they do can go wrong. And the Thunder making a change here. Dort's checked in. Jay's checked in for Chicago. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to fall. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. So the Bulls five right now. Bridges out there with Trey Murphy. Then it's White. Then there's Jay. And it's Terry in at the shooting guard position. Man passes to Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Here's Mann, white covering. Mann can hit. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Why? And he converts the layup. Jay's got it, got 43 points. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Wallace outside. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. 
Drummond sets the screen for Wallace. Offline with his three. Now Chicago has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Bulls moving the ball around and the basket by Jay. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance, the ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. Here's Wallace, carries it from three point range. Boy, you love to see this level of awareness from a big like Drummond. How about that feed to his teammate? To the inside. And again, another basket good from Jay. Jay has got it, got 47 points. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Bridges against Dort. The eight footer. And there's Drummond. That's good on the assist by Wallace. Wallace has got three assists tonight. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for Chicago. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. They got the job done in a big way here in game six. And I think they're starting to carve their names into the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Yeah, they should. I mean, they've got this title wrapped up. So impressive what they were able to do here tonight. The last thing they wanted was to have this series go all the way to seven games. They had the opportunity to clinch the championship right here, right now, and they did not let it slip away. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jane. Boy, this guy played with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight, dominating the physical aspect of the game. Inside, Klein, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Cameron Payne's checked in for the Bulls. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the layup's good off the glass. He's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Here's Chicago. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Jay misses. And here now the Thunder. Now here's Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. There's a good screen. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And if you're guarding SGA in the pick and roll, boy, stop the ball because other. Oh, and it's over. The Chicago Bulls are the new NBA champions. Folks, we'd like to thank you for coming out and supporting your team. Oh, to be crowned a champion on the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional and so into this game, you've beaten the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd, but our full credit to the victors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And boy, this is the moment they've been working towards all season long. And even though they don't get to celebrate in front of their home fans, does not take away from the satisfaction. Let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver doing the honors.
When MP entered the league, he was hailed as the greatest prospect since LeBron James, and today I'm ready to declare that he surpassed him. That is clearly a monumental achievement. I happen to have LeBron ranked number two on my all-time list. Well, three now. But there's a host of people who have him ranked number one, and as much as I might disagree with them, I understand it completely. LeBron James is a phenomenon as much as he's a basketball player a freight train of a human being. He combines Shaq's athletic dominance with Magic's passing chops. He combines Kobe's will to win with Michael Jordan's flair for the dramatic. He retired first all-time in scoring and third all-time in assists. He has four MVPs, an insane number of all-star selections, all NBAs, and all defensive teams. And he made the finals eight straight years. There was a stretch of time when if LeBron was in your conference, you might as well not even show up for the playoffs. Sure, he lost a few of those finals, but he won plenty. And at the end of the day, he's the third best player of all time, behind only MP and Michael Jordan.